What about if you buy your own land to build your own home? Can it be cheaper? Depends. Mm. If you know what you're doing, and if you have architects, if you have people who are really savvy about getting you that permit quicker, um, I mean, I flip properties as well, so I have to get permits to do my thing as well. And it takes a really, really long time. The county, the cities, mm -hmm. they're all really, really super backlogged. So I can't imagine um, if you're starting from truly from scratch when you're buying land. There's different types of land too. Okay, there's land that hasn't been ever touched before that's totally different because you're going to have to get plumbing you're going to have to get sewer you're going to have to get electrical to come out there and you're going to have to get all of that drawn out first okay before it actually even uh, it go goes to the next phase so every single thing that you do every single build that you do is a different type of permit and if you don't have people in your arsenal that know how to do that for you you're going to be going back to the county, to the city several times before they approve just one thing for you. Depending on the county and the area that you're going to be building onto, if you only want to build one home, some might require you to split the lot. Then you could build on that one parcel. I had a client that was interested in doing this. We went through the process of that and the county literally said, that's a 10 acre lot. You cannot build one house on a 10 acre lot. You have to split it. And then when they split it, they have to split it to a minimum of two acres. Each parcel has to be a minimum of two acres, meaning that you can only build a maximum of five homes on that 10 acre lot. My buyers, they didn't know that. They wanted to build only one home on that 10 acre was not allowed. So you need to find all this out. It's super important. Go to the county, work with the contractor that has a team that develops because they're going to already know people from the county. They're going to know people that are contractors that can tell you how much it's going to cost. They might even save you money because they buy all their inventory wholesale. So then the savings, they pass it on to you versus you going to Home Depot, buying everything at retail. Some people think it's better and cheaper to do it by themselves. Not if you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. Okay, so that's what I would recommend. Some land might not be financeable. So if you don't have deep pockets to cash it outright and build utilities on it, it might not be financeable. And that's the thing too. You know, sometimes you hear people who buy these luxury properties and demolish the whole entire thing. It's like, why would you buy a multi-million dollar property, all these celebrities, and then just just redo it? It's because sometimes Again, to get all of the lines in, the sewers, the water, all of that might be much, much, much more costlier than to build the house itself. Permits and everything is what kills. Because what's mm. underneath that ground? Is there really plumbing? If there's not, you got to connect all of that to the city. Or do you and need a well? Right. And depending on how far away you are too, and what is the limitation oh, yeah. on that to build. And even um, I have my home in Sonoma. We were thinking of redoing the, uh, the sewer uh, because it's it's so old just redoing that for one house that's not even 2,000 square feet we got a quote for eighty thousand dollars you guys mm -hmm. just for that and it's existing where can we find these rules county is mm -hmm. going to know more because it's always re being regulated and it's always being updated what was in code last year might be out of code this year so I'm so. going to share you guys with my experiences as well, just for me to get my permit to build a, uh, a additional dwelling for one of my houses. I was really, really frustrated because I came down to the county more than nine times, guys, because every single time I came down there, not only was it like the DMV where the line was like three and a half plus hours long, I learned after the third time that I was going to bring my own snacks and everything like that because it was just crazy ridiculous. Each of those nine times, it took nine times for somebody to say on board that, okay, everything is good to go. Every single time that I went back to the county to get my permit stamped so that I can move forward, they gave me a laundry list of more stuff. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't have to fix that. You're going to have to fix this. I was like, what? So they're not even up to date with their guidelines sometimes. So this is my experience from my inexperience, I'm sharing this with you so that if you have people that you know that really knows that city well, and again, with your architecture, with your engineers, with your uh, people that are in the area, make sure that they're local so they really do uh, know the ordinance in the county that you're trying to build.